what's going on you guys it's your girl there welcome and welcome back to my channel y'all it is early honestly it is really early it is 8 22 in the morning and your girl is starting her hair please somebody clap it up for me somebody somebody clap it up for me i deserve an award <sighs> i deserve an award but in today's video i am going to be doing an updated aloe vera pre-poo routine um, I wanted to do an updated one because honestly, I feel like the last one I did didn't really go in depth with what I do um, when it comes time to pre poo and stuff like that. So I just wanted to give like a whole full detailed review on what aloe vera does to my hair, the benefits and all of the above. But without further ado, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up and turn on that post bell notification so you get notified every single time a girl uploads a video. Follow me on my main social media account. It is always on the screen and the link is always in that description box, baby. So... Let's get to it. So as you guys saw in a previous clip, I did cut my aloe vera and told you guys how I like to cut it um, and stuff like that. So I have my little, my little goodie right here. I also have some gloves because I don't really like to do my hair with tips on only because I feel like, I don't know, sometimes I feel like it rips out my hair a little bit. So I like to work with gloves. I feel like it's smoother, it's better. And yeah, so let's get to it. On these gloves first. I typically like to take off my ring, but since I'm wearing gloves this time, I don't really have to do that. If my voice is a little raspy, it's because I just woke up, so bear with me. I also parted my hair in four sections, so yeah. But I like to part my hair in four sections, but I also like to split each section into probably like two, so I could get that desired slip and everything, so yeah. I'm going to take out one. My hair is a little dry, but it's not that dry. I did a twist out the other day, so this is like the before of how it's looking. So I just like to simply split my hair into probably like little sections, but put my hair like that. Split this. I don't use a comb to. So that right there is a good representation of why you need to cut your ends because you will get a lot of single stranded knots and when you part your hair it's going to look exactly like that. My hair. I wonder if I should start doing that. How are you guys doing? What do you use to pre-poo your hair? For me, I typically use aloe vera or sometimes I would use a hot oil treatment. Um, but majority of the time it's aloe vera. Aloe vera has a lot of good benefits, honestly. For one, it's soothing. It moisturizes the hair. It deals with dandruff. It has good slip. You know, it grows your hair. I don't know if I said that. It's not too harsh. It's inexpensive because a lot of people like to buy pre-poos or a lot of people like to do co-washes because technically co-washes are like conditioners. They're, they're, it's almost like a conditioning shampoo, but it doesn't have the sun like a shampoo so instead of spending fifteen dollars see all this i have a lot of i feel like my ends are dry and they need to be cut which is why your ends will tangle let me show you guys so this right here yeah see that it's a good representation of why you need to cut your ends and i need to do that and i will be doing that soon so Stay tuned for that video because I will be cutting my ends soon. What was I getting at? A lot of people like to spend a lot of money on hair products. I mean, I'm not going to be a hypocrite because I'm one of them. But I spend $15 on a co-wash when you can use something that's natural and that's really better for your hair. So, and it's inexpensive. A piece of aloe vera probably costs like $2, maybe even 2 for $4. I typically love to buy two. I love to buy two always when it comes to the aloe vera i like to keep one in my stash and plus like the curls be just uh it just be there y'all it be there i feel like i'm talking a lot this morning i don't usually talk a lot do i <laughs> ah, it's crazy. i don't know what's crazy about this but i love aloe vera i'm like a huge huge fan of aloe vera i've always been um, I don't even know how I decided to start putting aloe vera in my hair. I think when I was first transitioning into being natural, um, that was one of the products that I saw a lot of natural people use when they pre-poo or 
grow their hair. And I'm just like, aloe vera. I've never put it in my hair. Never. I drank it in high school. The juice. But to actually put it in my hair, I never knew. Never knew about it. But look at the curls, baby. Look at the curls. Let me zoom in for y'all. Look at, look at that. Y'all see that? My ends are a little bit dead, but for the most part, it looks very nice. You know what I'm saying? If you work in sections, you gotta get in your scalp, baby. This is how I like to put my pre poo on my head when it comes to my aloe vera. Um, I like to use the natural one. I don't really like to use aloe vera juice or sometimes people will buy aloe vera gel in the bottle. And I don't really, I'm not a fan of those things. I'm not a fan of those things because I don't really know exactly what's in the bottle. Like, I don't know what they're putting in there. They could put anything that's added, that's artificial. I want to make sure that I always know what's going in my head. Like, I'm, I don't play that. Like, y'all know... 2022 I'm working on not neglecting my hair and I feel like I've been doing a good job so using aloe vera gel in a bottle mm, not a fan I love to get my scalp feels so good feels so good I think you guys should try this pre cream with the for real like to scratch it that this put it on the scalp. Oh. Soothing. Aloe vera does get a little messy, but overall it's good. There has been a time though that I like wet my hair and then put aloe vera in my hair because my hair was so matted. But I typically just like to put the raw stuff. I might turn this into like a chit chat updated aloe vera routine. I go back to school next week, Wednesday. Actually, next week, Monday. School starts back next week, Wednesday, but I don't have no in-person classes on Wednesday, so technically I go back to school next week, Monday. Am I looking forward to this semester? I am. Oh, because it's my last one. And I graduate, I graduate. you guys' goals for 2022 you know I know people set goals every year for the new year sometimes long term sometimes short term um, maybe even both for me for the new year I've set both long term and short term goals um, probably like a week actually I'm lying probably two weeks before the new year I set some long term and short term goals for myself because Y'all, I have a lot I want to accomplish in this year. And I'm not going to speak too much about it because I just, I don't, for one, never count your chickens before they hatch. And for two, I feel like things I don't like to share because people will wish bad on you. And I don't really know um, who may be watching or whatever the case may be. Maybe people who have good intentions, but sometimes people are envious of you and sometimes people will wish bad on you. So certain things I don't like to share. Um, or I'll keep it between me and people who are close to me or, you know, maybe just to see myself. But, you know, don't trust everybody out here. People are very, very envious of you. People are crazy, for real. I'm going to share probably like two goals with you guys, though. Probably like two or three. For one of them, content-wise, I want to be consistent and see growth in my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Um, and then I also want to be the best version of myself. Um, School-wise, I want to pass all my classes with high grades. I want to be able to get an internship um, for the summertime and for what I'm going to do in the future. Um, just taking it step by step. I just don't want to rush into anything. And then things happen. Like, I just want to take it slowly and do what I have to do. My 
edges were very, very long at a point, but I think it gotten shorter because I went to school in person and I felt like I couldn't leave the house without doing my edges and that's where I went wrong. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that there. That's where I went wrong. It's okay not to do your edges. Don't make nobody pressure you into doing your edges. Especially if you... I feel like edge control is good, but then it's not at the same time. Like, too much edge control is not good. Especially if you don't wash it off, your edges are gonna break. Period. But let me show you guys how I apply this to my scalp. To do is I like to just... Y'all see that? Comment down below what's your favorite pre-pro routine or what do you do to keep your hair good and going and moisturized and detangled before you put um, shampoo in it. Because shampoo could be very stripping, that's why it's important to use some sort of pre-pro um, in your routine because it just makes the wash day easier and better. Um, and yeah, typically, um, I think typically before I started doing aloe vera pre pools, yes, I was the girl that was going to buy co wash. I was. I was that girl, okay? I was she. She was me. <laughs> but only two favorite co washes that I love, and that is the As I Am Jamaican Black Castor Oil Coconut Co wash. I don't think it's Jamaican Black Castor Oil, but I think it is. Um, but then it's also the Eden Body Works Coconut Co wash. I don't know, I probably have a thing with coconut co-washes, but that's also one of my favorite. I think aloe vera makes your hair thicker as well. I think that's another benefit of it. Makes your hair thicker. And for some people, I'm not really even too sure if they would use the whole aloe vera leaf or they would use like half, but I typically use the whole thing. I just want to get all that good stuff in there. So comment down below how much shedding you guys experience during your wash days. For me, um, it has been to a minimum. Alright guys, this is what the left side of my hair is looking like. Very moisturized, curls popping. Look at that, thick, luscious. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this up like this and pre-poo the other half of my hair and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys the finished results. All right guys, so I just finished putting all the aloe vera in my head. I probably used like about one aloe vera and just a little bit, thanks to my boyfriend for being amazing. He went to school, get me a little bit more aloe vera. But this is the final look. I'm gonna do a whole 360 so you guys can see. It actually looks like I kind of did like a wash and go. Like if my wash and goes came out like this, I think I would wear them out, but maybe <laughs> I'm still working on that. <laughs> but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Look at this piece of aloe vera right here. Baby, there's about to be pieces of aloe vera all in my hair. 
Oh, Lord. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that post bell notification so you get notified every single time we go upload a video. Follow me on my main social media account at Here's There. It is on the screen and the link is always in that description box. Without further ado, you guys are going to go wash this out. So, bye.